Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about day number one, what happened with Shapeshifters 2. The uh, squad number two for Shapeshifters is out. We had an SBC today. We had an objective as expected. I mean, today on foot basically went exactly as we would have planned, right? I think a lot of the stuff that I said in yesterday's video happened today. We did get an SBC player. We did get an objective. We got a new team in packs. And those cards that everybody thought was going to be coming out um, based on what they had shown on the loading screen with Ronaldo, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Conte were correct. So people went three for three on that loading screen. But the full team today, there's some big name players in this team. I have some thoughts about it. Uh, but overall, I think this team of shapeshifters that came out today, set number two, uh, is a pretty solid set of cards. So in this video today, I want to talk about that set of cards. I want to talk about the content we got today, some of the market movements. And then, of course, right now, as I'm recording this, we just got man of the match cards in foot. We have Havertz, Fred, Toussart, Gabriel Jesus, Nabry, uh, and Cisse are some of the ones that I've seen so far. And um, these have just came out. Really interesting position changes with these. Nabry on the left side, Gabriel Jesus on the left side, Fred is a CDM, and then Havertz at right forward, which is very interesting with some of these position change uh, man of the match cards that we do have. Again, this is just some, I don't understand why EA does not ever um, release uh, or tell us when these cards are, or are in packs because they, they do this every week. Late Friday night, they just randomly drop these cards into the game. Uh, and that is what it is. I would expect, I would be expecting um, UCL and Europa League Road to the Finals to be upgraded tonight as well, but that hasn't happened yet at this time. So um, I, d I do need to talk about this Shapeshifter squad, though, because we got a pretty, pretty beastly squad today. This is a, I think this might be the first promo this year where the second squad has been better overall than the first. I know this squad doesn't have those, you know, the last squad we had guys that were, you know, we had Nandez, we had Canes, right? Those guys were under 100,000 coins, pretty cheap cards that you could use and that you could, you know, a lot of people could throw into their squads, right? Well, this time around, we've got the big guns and uh, I think a lot of people are fans of these cards that came out today. We got Trent Alexander-Arnold, the center mid position change. This Richarlison looks nuts. Uh, f five star skills and a, or Four star skills and a five star weak foot. This card looks absolutely incredible. Alongside with the card that so many people have been wanting for so long in this game, Franck Ribéry with the five star, five star, um, high medium work rates. This, this dude looks like a monster. This is this is a card that people are going to be using for the rest of this game. And if I kind of have to compare it to like a hype card that has been released in the game so far, I think I would compare it to uh, Holland. I think that this card has the hype that a card like Holland has just because of his, he, he wasn't in the game. People thought he should be getting a flashback SBC and now he finally has a card, Bronk Ribery. So we're pretty pumped about that. Conte's the center back card is interesting. I, I don't know, you know, if you're going to play him as center back, you're probably not going to end up using him there. This Alba card is fantastic. Mendy is a CDM is really interesting. I'm curious to see what people have to say about this. Uh, because he's a very OP card to begin with, but I'm not so sure how he will play in the midfield. But I'm curious to see what people, people have to say about that. Uh, but overall, this squad is just, it's a solid, solid squad. A lot of big names in here. Uh, and I think EA did a good job with this. So hopefully, uh, we continue to get good content throughout this week as well. The one question that I have is why is this squad only made up of 10 players? Why is there no 11th player or I don't I just don't know what's going on with that because in all the other promos we have had an, a full set of 11 at least in both squads and this one right here we do not so I'm kind of interested to see what happens with that hopefully that means they're going to give us maybe a couple extra SBC players throughout the week this week that would be fantastic speaking of SBC players we got foot miss or not foot miss man Zakaria shapeshifters Zakaria why did I say footmas? Did, did he have a footmas SBC at one point? Maybe that's what it was. It's just ingrained in my mind. Uh, but this card right here, du dudes, I don't know if you can tell, they are dropping tons and tons of Bundesliga cards lately. We have Alaba, we have Rashika, we have uh, Zakaria right here right now, especially the Bundesliga center backs. I think I tweeted this out today when I when I tweeted the promo team that uh, we've had since the entry of Future Stars Kabak into this game, we've had so many Bundesliga center backs that have come out via either SBC, the milestones, or the the season progress cards. Uh, but this is another one today. Zakaria has come out. 
really beastly looking card another 200,000 coin sbc which is what this card will cost you right now you do get tradable packs back rare electrum and a prime mixed not really sure if that one's entirely worth it i think that david alibas david alibas card might be a little bit better in some ways low high work rates on this um three star three stars all right agility and balance is all right uh, it just looks like a really really strong card so i don't know if i would do that zakaria but that is the SBC that we did get today. I think EA likes dropping these. These This is like their optimal price point for an SBC. I don't know if they've really found this out and you know used their metrics that they see that makes these, trying to figure out which SBCs people complete. But if you think about the past three player SBCs that we have gotten, which are this is Zakaria, player moments Joshua Kimmich, and um, flashback Aspi Liqueta. All of these cards have been right around that 200,000 coin price threshold. So EA might have found something they like there with that threshold. And I guess we're going to continue to see SBCs released at that price range. We also got a, uh, a not a flashback. I almost said a flashback. This man, I got my card types all messed up today. Foot Shapeshifters, Bartra. So obviously, this is a center back card. They moved him up to striker. Very interesting looking card. Am I going to grind for this one? Probably not. I think the Acuna looked better to me if you were to grind either of these two. I think Acuna did look a little bit better to me just in, in terms of um, just in terms of what stuff uh, was on his card and how usable he is. But this is a cool card, at least to say the least, if you're grinding him. And then you can get a, uh, a Shape Shifters player pick number two. So you can try out some of the Shape Shifters on loan again. So I, I do rate that. I do rate that right there. But again, Shapeshifters promo today, again, it just, it's just uh, another Friday promo. That's honestly how I feel about this. I've been, I, we've sat here so many times on a, on a Saturday, uh, Saturday morning or a Friday night and thought uh, about the new promo that has come out the day before and you know what's cool about it and everything. And honestly, it just feels like another Friday promo that EA has released on this game. Special cards and packs and SBC and an objective and that's kind of all that we got i mean we got really good player selection today um and the really the curious thing that i want to know is does it say when these cards are going out of packs because i think that is important as well wow okay so this second squad is in packs for a full seven days interesting i thought that this promo might be over on tuesday but it looks like for these last couple promos that we've had they're going full two weeks on these uh on these promos so that's interesting at the moment that they're kind of sticking to these two promos. So yeah, that's, uh, you know, how do I rate today? Like out of 10, I would maybe give today like a, maybe a, a seven out of 10, because I feel like we got a really, really solid amount. Uh, just the hype players, right? With the Ribéry, with the Richarlison. Uh, th this Vinicius card might be one of the most laughable prices. Uh, I think I've seen a lot of people on Twitter, I think, agree with me on this one. But the fact that this card is 600,000 coins is still ridiculous. He was like a million coins right away. This card was around a mil. Um, and this should not be a 600,000 coin card. Obviously, I think people remember his card from last year. They realize he does have the five-star skills, the four-star weak foot. He was fantastic last year. I packed his future stars last year, if you guys were around with me then. But this card is just not a 600,000 coin worthy card. So for all of these at the moment, uh, I would definitely look to see, to see these dropping throughout the rest of the week uh, because these cards are going to be in packs for a full week, just like set one. Uh, and I think they're going to have some similar movements as set one did. I want to take a moment to actually speak about set one for a second. Uh, set one, let me show you guys this because Shapeshifter set one has absolutely flown out of packs. If you got in on any of these investments, G freaking G, Mares, 330,000 coins. Kondogbia was like 90,000 coins. He's now 109. Atal was 400, like 10K at rewards. He's now 516. Uh, Hates Bauer was like 115 rewards. He's up. Lucas is under 300. And Babu has flown again. All the all of the cards that are related to the Bundesliga. Uh, Inform Neuer is crazy high in price right now. This and Babu card is up. I want to say almost like a hundred thousand coins. Am I right? Yeah, he's up over a hundred k from where he was on Thursday, thanks to all the stuff coming out from the Bundesliga. So again, they've really they've gone heavy Bundesliga, which is pretty interesting that they have gone so heavy with that stuff. But if you invested in any of those, G freaking G's. Other than that, what happened on the market today? I went ham trading with some of these icons. One of my best days overall on foot. 
uh, from all these cards right here. I mean, this card alone was 400,000 coins of profit. I bought this at 1.6 million coins during lightning rounds. I saw it listed on the 59th minute fresh. Uh, I was able to snag it and relisted, and it sold first hour at 2.13. So that was a fantastic trade. One of my best icon flips this year in, in foot 20. Uh, and I haven't been doing it that much this year, but I've been really doing it the past two weeks and it's paid dividends big time uh, for me. I've made tons and tons of coins the past couple weeks flipping these moments cards, which a lot of them went up today. This Verone card during the week this week, and I'm going to show you guys some graphs right now. I want to talk about this a little bit. These cards were packed today because there were lightning rounds that came out, but a lot of these cards actually rose they actually rose. Now he's down a little bit more from where he was right now. And you see this happen a little bit with some of the icons uh, on their fluctuations on a Friday night. But take a look at what Verone was uh, before Thursday rewards. He was 1.045. And if you look at the daily graph, he was around 1.1 for you know Wednesday and Thursday. And I remember seeing this guy like 1.05, 1.04, 1.03 at multiple points in the past couple days. What happened today is uh, he did have a low point of like 112, but he's, he, you know, he kind of went up after Thursday rewards and he went even higher this evening, up to 1.23 uh, mil. And a lot of these cards had fluctuations like that. Van Nistelrooy was another one. You, you saw that I traded with one of those prime icon moments. A lot of these rose up in price today. Van Nistelrooy was like 1.15, I think, on Thursday. Yeah, right in here. Most of the day Thursday, 1.1s. He rose up some after rewards to 1.2. Again, he was down this morning to 1.1s, and then boom, he's back over into the 1.2s, 1.2 highs. I just sold one at 1.267. So a lot of these icon moments, the really usable ones, have increased in price a little bit this weekend, which I find pretty interesting, which, uh, you know, you, you think that this game is quote unquote, you know, dying or dead, um, but it just shows, it just goes to show today that there were people on the game. Uh, and that there are people buying cards and getting ready for weekend league and that just shows me that there are people still involved and interested in this game even when you have a striker card come out multiple striker cards in this this new team right with the Ribery with the Richarlison some people might be playing a striker um, those kind of cards that are going to steal the hype from a lot of other strikers uh, you even saw some of these other icon moment strikers rise up with them so kind of impressed with that just kind of, you know, gives me a little bit extra faith in the market that maybe I didn't have before, I guess, uh, on some of that stuff. Other special cards definitely rebounded today. If, if you were flipping, I mentioned this in my video yesterday, uh, meta informs from popular leagues, especially if you picked uh, Bundesliga. I actually want to check this card out right now. Leon Goretzka, how much is he? Because we just got two uh, German Man of the Match cards. Yeah, this guy is up, man. 100,000 coins. After or when the Kimmich SBC came out, this guy dipped down to like 70K. He's now over 100, partially due to the Bundesliga hype. But I also think just because um, this card is pretty usable and, you know, it's Goretzka, right? Uh, he's big name. Big name in the Bundesliga as a center mid. There's only a few center mids in this game that you could use, especially in this price range for the kind of stats you're going to get with this Goretzka card. So... Uh, I am impressed with uh, some of the market movements that did happen today. There was a lot of rebound. And again, that just makes me happy to see some of those things on the market. Taking a break from the market talk for just a second, I want to look at this tweet today that EA released um, about the pitch notes, right? About the pitch notes. They dropped a new set of pitch notes today talking about the online connectivity and responsiveness efforts. So I just want to take a quick minute or so and talk about this. Um, and my thoughts on this, because this is actually really interesting. So it looks like they're putting some work into this, right? This pitch notes is going to be informed on potential connectivity and responsiveness change, uh, packet loss, weak Wi-Fi signal, and more. I didn't, ha I actually have not read up on this, but this is the this is the most interesting thing. Like, look at this right here. Current studies and next steps. We're currently running a live study for small backend change related to button responsiveness, which you need to measure. Uh, the real world impact of. In the coming weeks, we will be adding an in-game button overlay for a select number of players we are partnering with. So I don't know who this is. If if this is one of you guys, let me know because I really don't know what's going on or who's got one of these. Maybe I'll try to hop in a game and see if I've got the the button overlay on my screen, which might be a little bit of annoying, but it's not doesn't look like it's in your way too much. Um, but you know what? 
I can't bash EA for this, I guess. I haven't read this whole article yet. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about it because I'm, I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about it until I actually see change and actually see things changing in the game. Uh, but you know what? If they're putting an article out like this and they're doing something like that, that makes me think that they are actually, you know, maybe putting some effort into this. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt right now uh, until... Uh, with still the hope of, of seeing something changing and hopefully that does start to this stuff that they're doing does start to pan out and we actually get to see a tangible evidence of things changing in the game so hopefully over this weekend we also get to see some continued good content from or as a part of the shapeshifters promo right of course we have these upgrade spcs that are still out take your chance take your chance at doing a couple of these either the 80 plus or the 81 plus try to pack yourself one of these new shapeshifters see if you can get lucky with one of those and hopefully we continue to get player sbcs uh of course we had the zakaria last for the first week we only had two last week and i think they came in the, the first day or one came on sunday but we had the we had the mkhitaryan in, in the the uh olaza so hopefully we get this zakaria hopefully we get some other maybe two or three more throughout the rest of this week that'd be nice and then just some other SBCs as well. Player SBCs, you know, EA, if you want to drop that icon SBC, that would be perfect as well. Hopefully we see some of that stuff happening in the game this week. Again, I'm still waiting for these Road to the Final upgrades because last week when they upgraded these cards, it was around the same time that they dropped Man of the Matches. So I'm patiently waiting EA Sports for these to get upgraded. But they might already, they might already be upgraded when you're watching this video. But anyways... Uh, for today on the market, hopefully we get some new SBCs, new content, stuff like that on a Saturday. If you're playing Weekend League, good luck. Hit some upgrades if you would like uh, to do that. And uh, yeah, boys, hopefully uh, you guys can get one of these shapeshifters in your squads. If you want to try any of them out, actually let me know which one in this new squad are you most interested in trying out. I have a feeling it's got to be Ribery. Uh, but I think a lot of you guys are going to be interested in that Alexander Arnold ca card and even Venetius because I think a lot of these guys, uh, they're going to drop to a more affordable range here in the next few days. I feel like Venetius, Alexander Arnold, and then maybe even Alaba I'd be, I'd, would be the ones that are th on the budget, the, on the cheaper budget that people are going to be trying out the most. So that's kind of my thoughts on today's content, the stuff that we got. And uh, yeah, boys, if you have any comments of your own on this content, drop them down below in this video and hopefully we get some fun stuff later this week uh in terms of content from ea sports as a part of the shapeshifter promo as well so if you enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up on it and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace